Welcome Odours, I'm Hermine from the Boston IoT Expertise team. In this video, we'll show you how to integrate Mettler Toledo Scales with Odoo and what you can expect when it's up and running. Scales are used across various types of businesses, from weighting bolt goods in grocery stores to measuring packages in warehouses for accurate shipping label and cost calculations. Let's take a closer look at what you can expect when using an integrated scale. When properly integrated, product weights from the scales are sent directly to your POS, no manual input required. Required. Since version 17.4, tower management is also supported, making it easier to handle containers or packaging during sales. Currently, only Metler Toledo scales are compatible with Udo. To enable automatic weight capture, you'll need to connect the scale using an IoT box. Without it, weights must be entered manually. Also keep in mind that in commercial context, you might need your scales to be trade approved. This means the scale must be certified by the manufacturer to guarantee weight accuracy. For example, that one kilogram displayed is exactly one kilogram measured. You also need to check if your country requires scale certification. You need to confirm whether Odoo is certified for your region in the official documentation. Good! Now let's configure the setup. So first you need to set up the IoT box. So for that you can refer to our online videos or the step-by-step -step documentation. Now a best practice is to connect the scale before starting the IoT box. This will ensure the device is detected during the IoT boot process. If you plug in the scale after the IoT is already running, it may take a few minutes to be recognized. Alternatively, you can restart the IoT service. Now, here I'm in my database and I have an IoT already up and running. Now, to connect the scale, we can use the official USB to proprietary RG45 cable and plug it to the IoT. Once the scale is detected, we'll be able to uh, go to our POS and actually connect the scale to the system's setting. Now, let's go ahead and we're going to follow here the IoT homepage just by clicking on this green link. Once I'm on the IoT homepage, I can restore the service here because we plugged the scale after the IoT was actually running. So I can restart here and it will take a few minutes before it will uh, start detecting the devices. Good, now let's go ahead in our database and you can see here the different devices that are recognized. I'm going to click on them and you can see we have here our Metler Toledo uh, skill that is uh, recognized and is connected. Great, so now that our skill is recognized, we can go into our point of sales configurations. You can go into our coffee shop here, you, you can edit. And we are going to link the skill via the IoT box configuration here. So you can go into the skill and select the uh, skill that you are going to use. And that's it. Now let's test it. When a product is configured with a price based on weight, selecting it in the post automatically triggers the skill pop-up. This allows the cashier to weigh the item and have its price calculated and added to the cart instantly. Let's go ahead and configure such a product. Now, what you need to make sure is to um, activate the unit of measures here in the sales uh, configuration to be able to configure the product based on kilograms. Now, let's go ahead and let's take our product. So here we can see we have a mug that we're going to wait and you need to make sure to select the kilogram here. Of course, you need to put the price depending on the price per uh, kilogram and what you also need to do is to make sure that the point of sales here is activated to make sure the product is loaded into the point of sale. Now let's go to the point of sale tab and here you actually need to make sure that the to wait with scale option is activated. So for items with containers, don't forget that the tar functionality is available. We're directly going to see it when we jump into the database. Perfect, so let's go ahead and test our mug product. So I'm going to open the point of sale and I'm going to select my mug here. So what you can see is that we have the pop-up that immediately comes to our screen and 
we can weight our mug and you will see that the weight of the mug is directly input here into our point of sale and the price is directly calculated as well. Now, if you want to use the TOR functionality, you can input here, for instance, uh, 100 grams, and you will see that the net price is directly adapted as well, as well as the price. And you can add that into your order, and you can see the weight is directly input. Now, let's proceed to the payment. Let's pay by card. And that's it. We highly recommend using a physical IoT box, as it has the re required drivers already installed. While virtual IT might work, its reliability depends on the operating system and setup. If your skill isn't recognized, try the following configuration steps from the Arriva guide. Hold the T button for 8 seconds or until config appears. Press T until GRP3 appears, then press 0 to confirm. At step 3.1, make sure the value is set to 1 by pressing T to cycle through the options. Then press 0 until 3.6 appears and make sure the value is set to 3. You can press on T to cycle through the options. Press 0 until GRP4 appears and then press T until exit appears. Now it's important to not make any other changes unless otherwise needed. Press zero, press zero again to save and then the scale will restart. If needed, restore the IoT service and then the scale should appear as a Toledo 8217 scale. That's it.